And in front of me, I have a silly story called Everyone Loves Bacon. I hope you love bacon as much as I do. I find it quite tasty, but this is a different spin. So the words have been written by Kelly DiPuccio and the pictures by Eric Wright. Today's special bacon, dedicated to Adeline and Morgan who love bacon and for Dana, whom I love more than bacon. Everyone loves bacon, including bacon. Egg loved bacon, waffle loved bacon. He loves me, he loves me not, she says with a daisy. Pancake loved bacon. French toast didn't love bacon, but he didn't count because French toast doesn't like anyone. Bacon enjoyed being popular. You're the best bacon. Can I sit next to you? You smell so good. Now everywhere he went, bacon got plenty of attention. He told charming stories and funny jokes. He even played the ukulele. Everyone loves the ukulele. And the other breakfast meats felt left out. What about me, eh? <laughs> but Bacon didn't care about them, not one bit. He was becoming a real celebrity. His picture appeared on t-shirts and billboards and buses. Everyone loved, everyone loves me and I smell so good. Bacon was feeling the top of the world. Eventually, Bacon forgot all about his friends back home. Even worse, he pretended not to know some of his old friends. But Bacon didn't care about them either because who needs friends when you have fans? Bacon drove fancy cars. He wore fancy hats and he grew a fancy mustache. Everyone loves a fancy mustache. Indeed, Bacon was the toast of the town. Until, dun, dun, dun. should I read the ending? I oh, looks a little worried. How do you think this is going to end? <laughs> yep, yep. Everyone loves bacon. And that's the end. If you're checking this out in your virtual platform, I'll have some things for you to do there. Stay well.